morning guys, afternoon wherever you are. Um, Peter Webster's back again. As you can see, we have another unboxing video for all of you. I know you might be getting sick of unboxing, but at the moment, uh, it's what's coming, so I might as well do it. A few different items here to do with uh, everything that I'm building and planning on, whatever, and a couple of little extra bits that uh, I bought for my own interest. So we'll start off with this bad boy here. Now all you techie nerds will know what Arduino is. It's a kit to build a Bluetooth operated car with infrared sensors on the front so it won't bump into anything four-wheel drive and I've been after this particular key for quite a while but they're like 90 pounds and I managed to get a good deal on this one so <coughs> I jumped at the chance and bought it that's the first option first item should I say next item here from Amazon uh, from 470 ohm resistors for my flickering fire box LEDs what I showed you in the last video and this is an upgrade for my little airbrush spray booth uh, which is a 120mm fan but this is variable speed and directional it, it blows and it sucks <coughs> and it's got nice grills on to put some filters on it comes with all the fixings and whatnot so i bought that up on amazon that was quite cheap about 10 pounds i believe Rather than having a constant speed, I can vary variable speed now with the, the controller. That's that item. <coughs> uh, what should we do next? Right, we'll do... I'm actually building a new computer, <coughs> a new desktop system for my hobby room i.e. my invert area out the back so I can join lives without having to wait for the house to be empty and the first thing I bought the IO plate and, and a separate cable is this new X99, it's only a Japanese type board, but the reviews on it are really good. <coughs> Full ATX board. Um, it comes with ATO ready on, on board graphics. Takes four DDR4s, up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. So that's that bad boy there. And to go with that, I've got a nice 12 core 2011.3 socket processor which can be overclocked to 8.4 gig. So it should be quite a fast little system when it's running. Um, to go with that, now, uh, you got it? Yep. I bought an extra graphics card. And this is a 256 gigabyte uh, graphics card with inbuilt DDR5. Yep. Yeah. 
I put a 3D and multiple camera output uh, with the different uh, plugs on the back and socket on the back for the HDMI which is what I'll be using the old ATX um, plug socket on there as well um, there's a solder and shield for a fan to go onto the processor which I'm contemplating getting an, a liquid cold uh, cross system to keep the fan nice and cool and that's those next for the model railway I'm building <coughs> I've got these little guys and they are street lamps 176 scale LED street lamps so I've got 20 of those to go around the outside of the Blackpool and the Eddie Stalbot uh, layout that's what's in there more railway stuff from the last video I showed you my King Class um, tender driven loco that I purchased <coughs> and obviously it comes with the old ring film motor so to replace that motor I've gone ahead from what's the name of the company again Horns and Whistles Workshop and purchased two ring film motors for the two King Class which is the King George and the King Charles II so that's an upgrade I'll be doing on those. Next. Uh, I'm going to discuss it. got 36 uh, laser cut um, wooden benches to build as well for the setup around the amusement park so I've got to put those together and while we're on the subject of the amused the Blackpool Pleasure Beach setup uh, one of the rides I've got to assemble which are made by Rocker or, and per, distributed by Robo Time I believe which is the Whirling Dance Teacups ride and these actually do work so once that's built that will be running inside the, the park next we have a chair swing ride to go, in, to go into, the, uh, into the park um, <coughs> This one here I haven't actually opened yet. <coughs> Sorry guys. This is by a different company. A company called Fella. And this is a breakdance number one. Uh, automated ride again that's got to be built I've got another couple of rides up in my uh, hobby stores upstairs that's got to be built as well so in total I think we've got about six rides plus a wood tricks uh, roller coaster kit a wooden one that's got to be built that should be fun I watched Alex at Horlix building is and it was a great build the only issue we had with it was the wooden drive gear that takes the car around the track kept breaking so Ian and part where cut grades managed to 3d print some replacement gears out of resin so Alex was kind enough to send me the STL files over and I've got some um, <coughs> impact resistant resin that I should print up some new gears for. Um, 
Uh, this one, this is what I'm excited about. Not major big, but as all of you guys know, when you've got your locos, you like them to be looking the best. And I'm dealing with a company now called Silver Tie Models. And I was after some nameplates for my Evening Star 9F. And I managed to contact this company, a gentleman by the name of Douglas, and he hooked me up with some nice brass edge name plates. And my King Class, King Charles II loco, did, didn't come with any name plates or numbers. So he done me these, and there's two sets of sprues in there, there's one at the back with the name plates, and now it's there. I don't know whether you can read the King Charles, yeah, with the uh, running number 6009. And he's also sending me uh, a new set of Manor Class name plates for a new loco that I have coming. <coughs> and an exclusive white, <coughs> sorry guys. What well, he's um, started producing um, brass light irons and brass detail parts, and I'm going to be receiving the first set of those to review and test out on a loco that I've ordered. So that'll be another review coming up in the post. Um, I think he said he'd sent them out, but being so it's bank holiday Monday, I'll probably be here tomorrow or Wednesday now. Uh, but amazing company. As soon as you email them, within minutes you get a reply. I'll put the link down the bottom in the description of his company, Silver Tail Models. And um, if you're interested in any of these things, they are reasonably priced. I found one company who was after £32, I think, for just a set of etched brass name plates and numbers for a loco in the 4 mil scale, 176 double O. And I wasn't uh, interested in paying that sort of silly money. And for that pack, what I just showed you there, with postage, it only cost me £11.49, which I thought, for the product that you get, and the crispness of the writing and everything all in absolute bargain so that's my exciting uh, first time i've actually worked with a company which is great let's just push this out of the way because this is a large one <coughs> on, on the subject of railways and modeling i've well i haven't invested my wife we got me this as an early anniversary present. And I'll show you if I can get into the stinking box. There we go. the house why don't I and as you can see it's a, an airbrush compressor set I believe this one is 125 watt with a 3 litre tank capacity which is more than enough for the work that I'm going to be using it for instruction manual uh, now let's try and get this out Oh, pull the static off that. Yeah, there's my arms are shooting up in the air. Right. There it is. Comes with the water trap. And pressure gauge 
and it's a really nice looking system not overly heavy i'd say what eight nine kilos there about 17 18 pounds but absolutely lovely little kit and i have done this and it is really quiet i've had compressors in the past that rattle your eardrums so i'm happy with that one I'll put that down there out of the way I'm waiting for my air gun my airbrush set to actually come with it that, that's uh, on hold at the moment because I had some scumbag try to access my bank account the other day and as a safety precaution the bank blocked my card and all my account stop anybody using it so I'm now waiting because the bank holiday I'm waiting for a new card to come in on my bank to be reset so it's killing me not being able to buy anything and finally after all the hype that I've read on and watched on you guys YouTube channels about this company that you all know about now Timu my daughters are addicted to it and if I get one, I get a thousand emails and messages come through on my, my messenger with the link to Timu so you can get whatever if you click, click on this link. And every time I see one of them, I just ignore it and I'll swipe it. And I've made my first order now. So let's have a look what we got here. Let's grab everything in here. some crafting stuff to do my scrap build and some stuff for my compressor because I thought the prices what I've seen was really good first off we have a pack of I believe it's a five inch uh, two mil ply uh, this is six by four two mil ply give you a bag to send stuff back yeah. that's good isn't it really uh, another pack of ply here and this is 8 <coughs> eight by 4 2 mil ply uh, here we have a set of quick release fittings for the airbrush lying to the compressor and to the gun and I've seen a few of you guys got these online uh, airbrush cleaning set I've seen it on Amazon for £16 I believe and I've checked out from Timu and I believe it was £10 or £11 comes with uh, I don't know what I've shown you but I might as well cleaning needle for the front of the gun um, an assortment of different brushes black and white bristles and this little guy here which is a glass container where your air gun goes in there and your vent which comes with a stand that goes on the side of your cloth here to hold your air gun and a couple of little filters to go in there so I'm really happy with that and for my first order to be honest I'm quite happy nothing came smashed a lot of you remember that the old company called Wish where once you receive your items you wish you hadn't ordered them and I was dubious because some critics said that it was another form of wish but with slightly better quality but to be perfectly honest if this is the grade that I'm getting every time I order I shall be ordering more because I'm really happy with what I've received this time so thumbs up from me if you haven't already, give them a check out, timo.com. 
I think uh, with the holiday it took eight days for this order to arrive from overseas and if you order from somebody like AliExpress you're like two to three weeks from the same place so well worth uh, having a look because there is that much on there I was really shocked I was gobsmacked with the amount of variety and everything you could buy. Whatever you want is on there basically. It's like an Amazon for China, but cheaper. And you don't get emails saying your delivery is running late and that all the time, which I've had a lot of lately up Amazon. Some stuff that you pay for next day delivery turns up three weeks late or they don't turn up at all and when you try to get your refund back so you can't refund you unless you return the item so how can you return an item that you don't receive you know makes sense so enough waffling now I'm really happy with what I've got um, I have got one other item that I could show you, but I don't know whether you'd be interested, but I'll, I'll just give you a quick look at it. And it's a, a little phone gimbal. Now, you might think, well, how is that a gimbal? And I thought the same. Little door opens there, which is magnetised. This little arm swings out. And your phone gets attached on there by a magnet, which I have got over here. I do that. Yeah, here it is. This little bracket here, there your mobile phone is in there, and it just sits on there and when it's powered on obviously all the motors centre and really good excellent it wasn't cheap I don't think I think I paid about uh, £80 for it but I've had it a while now and I, I bought it mainly to take with me to the shows um, I'm hoping to go to the Getz train show, the Great Electric train show in October. <laughs> and I thought that's the ideal thing to have. And it comes with its own little tripod as well, which just pulls out the bottom here. So you can stand it on your table when you're doing your filming. Which is a really nice little idea. And that stands like so, which is quite firm when it's on the table. And you can buy all different uh, cases for it as well, for different phones. But I chose this type because basically I've got the Z Flip phone, the Samsung, and the case is a bit awkward to find for that. So it clips into this bracket really well, and it's a nice tight fit on the actual magnet. So that's this, and it's made by a company called Power Vision. It's called the S1. I think you can get them in green, black, and gold. I chose the gold as it was available at the time, and I got a five pound discount for having the gold. So, like ordinary gimbals, it comes with a little thumb, thumb pad there for left, right, up, down, pan, and tilt. And you've got your auto center, and this actually works with an app that you can use finger gestures like put that in front of your phone and it'll start recording and like that will stop recording so it saves having a remote control for your phone where this will operate it and takes a signal to your phone to whatever it does i'm not into the techie stuff but nice little gimbal it weighs literally half a pound I've got a gimbal in the, my bedroom, which is a DJI one, and it cost me nearly £500, and it's a massive bulky thing for my um, my big DSLR camera setup, which I've got as well. 
So I mean something like this here pound is great. There are cheaper versions but not one this size you can show in your pocket with your pound and forget about. So that's it then guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like I say every video, we're down to 28% of people now who are watching the channel who have not subscribed. Just whack that subscribe button guys. I'm not going on about analytics or anything. I'd just like to know how many people are interested in my videos. I'm not monetized, so I'm not begging for money off you or anything like that. I, 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 I don't do that. I, I don't do uh, Patreon or anything. I just like to get the numbers up and then I know how many people are interested or not interested. And you can work out what videos to put up based on the stats, which is how I like to work it. So from me and my wife, be able to come to Maria. Uh, enjoy the rest of your bank holiday. It's the last one for the year. Uh, I believe there's a bank holiday Friday sales coming up that I was informed about, but it's not an official bank holiday. It's just like a Black Friday sales. Um, and that'll be coming up soon. So once again, guys, like, comment, subscribe, dislike whatever chooses you fancy and like Dave Spruce says when you, if you want to, to dislike it you twice to make sure laugh out loud and you know what I mean by that so for now I'll see you all in the next one I don't know when the next unboxing will be because like I say I'm having issues in my bank account at the moment and once that's sorted out then I'll still get online and start doing a bit of shopping again because there are quite a few things that I need. Especially now I've got my compressor and I'm going to get me some new paints and whatever yeah. and get that set up with me, my new extractor plant in the, in the outside lobby room and we'll get on with some airbrushing. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next one. Peter Webster, bye bye.